In a recent episode of our podcast, In the Milkweeds, Daniel Hertz, the research director for the Center for Tax and Budget Accountability, said something that would have blown our minds if it wasn't for the fact that we had heard almost the exact same thing from Frank Manzo of the Illinois Economic Policy Institute. No relation to the Illinois Policy Institute. Here's what Daniel told us. You know, CTBA actually put out the only really specific tiered structure plan uh, last year. And our guiding principles were cut or don't raise taxes on 98% of taxpayers, raise about $2 billion in revenue, and don't have the top rate go above what the top rate is already in the Midwest, which is 9.85%. The idea that Illinois could lower taxes on 98% of its residents and still come out ahead sounds crazy. But it gets to the heart of something really important which is that Illinois has been disproportionately shouldering its tax burden on the backs of middle and working class families. We're in a bizarre position as a state. We are overtaxing. By some estimates, we have the highest individual tax burden in the country. We're underspending. We're the 14th lowest in terms of per capita state spending, but we're still coming out in debt. And that's because our tax system is relying on the middle and working classes for revenue. And there's simply not that much wealth there to tax. That's how changing to a graduated tax code could help Illinois rebalance our tax system and frankly, make it more in line with the rest of the country. A majority of other states already use graduated tax systems. And that includes a majority of conservative states. Illinois is one of only eight states left that still uses a flat income tax. And that's why Governor J.B. Pritzker dedicated so much time in his inaugural address to what he calls a fair tax. But what he's really talking about there is a graduated tax system. Our regressive tax system, including property taxes and sales taxes, currently has the middle class paying nearly double the rate that the wealthy pay. That's not fair. And it doesn't pay our bills. The future of Illinois depends on the passage of a fair income tax, which will bring us into the 21st century like most of our Midwestern neighbors and like the vast majority of the United States.